The person who holds the title of lieutenant governor is the number two politician in the state. But the election for that position is always overshadowed by the race for governor. Now, last night, we brought you the Democrats running in the race. Tonight, we introduce you to the Republicans in the race. Five candidates are vying for your vote in Tuesday's primary as you decide 2010. The lieutenant governor is first in line to take over if the governor dies or leaves office, but otherwise has no set responsibilities. Past lieutenant governors, both Democrat and Republican, have largely been kept out of the loop and had little to do with actual state government. Robert Lorge says the lieutenant governor is a liaison. The governor can't be everywhere at once, so he needs somebody to help represent him. Now, the last several lieutenant governors never got along with the governor. Representative Brett Davis wants to transform the office that he says has been meaningless. I think we have to have a watchdog in Wisconsin. And I look at the lieutenant governor's role as being the leading taxpayer watchdog in the state, looking at fraud, waste, and abuse in our government. He has also endorsed Scott Walker for governor. For the serious reforms that are needed in Wisconsin, you need to have a good working relationship. I believe the lieutenant governor's job is to drive the governor's agenda. Dave Ross says the lieutenant governor's role is dictated by the governor. I think you have to get along. You have to be able to smile and stand in the same room. Uh, and, and I think I'm that kind of person. I think that I can bring some life some visibility and some purpose back to that office. Nick Vogley has a different view, saying as an elected constitutional officer, he won't be taking orders. I expect that we'll be working together, but uh, the governor uh, may suggest certain things, but the lieutenant governor has to remember that he is independently elected. Well, I see our governor as our CEO, and our lieutenant governor needs to function as our VP of marketing. Rebecca Clayfish envisions the job as the key to bringing in new business and jobs to Wisconsin, and she'll use her background as a former Milwaukee television reporter to do that. Because now more than any other time in our state's history, we have a desperate need for jobs, and we need someone with the media and the marketing experience in order to go out there and recruit job creators. Each candidate offers a different perspective on why they appeal to voters. Ross is the mayor of Superior. He says he would bring regional balance to the ticket. I'm from northwest Wisconsin, I mean way up north, and uh, I think there needs to be geographical balance. Davis's assembly district is southern Dane County and Greene County. He says he can bring in moderate voters. And I bring a diversified, balanced ticket. It, it's the strongest ticket that Republicans can possibly have. Vogley is a certified public accountant from Sun Prairie and a veteran. Having a CPA on the ticket would be very advantageous to, uh, to you know, both to the state and, and to the gubernatorial candidate. Well, I'm the only candidate that's run statewide before. I Lords brings some name recognition to the ticket, having run for a U.S. Senate seat twice. I have followers that the Republican Party, frankly, does not have. I appeal to a lot of the independents, a lot of the grassroots people. And Clayfish calls herself a true conservative and someone who represents the private sector. I'm not a politician. I'm a business owner. I'm a taxpayer. I'm a parent. That's who I am. On Tuesday, the voters will decide. The Republican candidates for uh, lieutenant governor, or governor rather, Mark Newman and Scott Walker, have not made an official endorsement for the race for lieutenant governor at this point.